So hey, good morning and welcome to today's Advent reading. This will be our final reading for this week. And I hope that as you have been uh, hearing these texts, they have been helpful for you. Uh, today we're going to be reading from Hebrews chapter 11, beginning at verse 32, going through verse uh, chapter 12, verse 2. It says, And what more shall I say? I do not have time to tell about Gideon, Barak, Samson, and Japheth, about David and Samuel and the prophets, who through faith conquered kingdoms, administered justice, and gained what was promised, who shut the mouths of lions, quenched the fury of the flames, and escaped the edge of the sword, whose weakness was turned to strength, and who became powerful in battle and, and routed foreign armies. Women received back from life, back their dead, raised to life again. There were others who were tortured, refusing to be released, that they might gain an even better resurrection. Some faced jeers and flogging and even chains and imprisonment. They were put to death by stoning. They were sawed in two. They were killed by the sword. They were, went about in sheepskins and goatskins, destitute, persecuted, and mistreated. The world was not worthy of them. They wandered in deserts and mountains, living in caves and in holes in the ground. These were all commended for their faith, yet none of them received what had been promised, since God had planned something better for us, so that only together with us would they be made perfect. Therefore, since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, let us throw off everything that hinders and uh, and, and the sin that so easily entangles, and let us run with perseverance the race marked out for us, fixing our eyes on Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of faith. For the joy set before him, he endured the cross, scorning its shame, and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Uh, this is an odd reading in, in, uh, for, for Advent um, because it points to uh, folks from the Old Testament, and yet it also uh, reminds us uh, these were people who stood by faith, had by had faith in, in the God called Elohim, the God of the Old Testament, uh, who had yet to be fully revealed in Yeshua or Jesus of Nazareth. Uh, we, we sometimes get caught up in today's culture with this superhero world. You guys know I'm a, a fan of the Marvel comics, but long before the, injur, uh, the Avengers, long before the heroes of Earth, the, the greatest heroes of Earth, uh, we had these true heroes, uh, people who held on to the faith, um, and now as we prepare our hearts and our minds, we are invited to see that we have seen the promise that the folks in the Old Testament were waiting to see. Uh, the question for us then is, do we continue uh, to walk in a way uh, that allows us to be ordinary people used in extraordinary ways by God? I pray, Father, that you will help us to be a people who understand who we are when we are in your presence. Use us in extraordinary ways. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, friends, it was good to be with you this morning, and I pray that you will continue to reflect on the passage of Scripture from today.